Do you ever wonder why men give you the silent treatment? Are you sick of men disappearing on you, leaving you desperate for clarity? It's time you pick your dignity off the damn floor. Because on today's show, we'll be discussing why men give you the silent treatment. Not only so you better understand it, but also so you know exactly what he's trying to get from you. Number one, the tranquilizer. You have to understand that in the beginning, everything is always supposed to be good. That's how it's meant to be. See, the thing about it is, if I want something from you, I'm of the assumption that you're not just going to give away what I want from you willingly for free. Then I also know that when I approach you, I must approach you the right way so that you are disarmed. You think he's going to come to you when he first meets you and tell you, hey, I just want you to know that I'm a horrible person. He'd never have a chance with you. The purpose of this is to tranquilize you so that you're nice and relaxed. You have in your mind, you're so sure that this guy that you just met a couple of days ago is your absolute perfect man. And I know some of you are thinking, Thomason, what does any of this have to do with the silent treatment? See, this is what you need to understand. The silent treatment only works when I give you something first to miss. If I tell you, to miss a stranger. You don't know how to just muster up the feelings and the ability to miss a stranger. It's impossible. However, if that I take that same stranger and I build memories with him and you, you guys grow together, experience things together. You guys have laughs together. You guys cry together. He jackrabbits himself inside of you. Now, if I take that stranger out of your life, you start to miss that person because when he gives you the silent treatment he's not just doing it by not speaking to you it's meant to get you accustomed to the schedule and the rhythm of what it feels like to be in a relationship and be emotionally connected with him and i'm gonna like i said i'm gonna go through it what the what the end goal is but i want you to first understand the setup the setup is so important because none of this is gonna work unless the setup is proper let's get to the disguise now that he's got you relaxed and he has information about what it is you're looking for it's now time for him to custom make his prince charming suit you guys have heard me talk about this before he's gonna gather all the materials the cotton the wool the polyester the silk he's gonna mold it and shape it he's a craftsman because this is a very important process when he puts on this suit it needs to look exactly one to one exactly like what you're looking for because that is a confirmation to you that once again he was etched in stone for you now he's gonna step himself inside of the prince charming suit that he made especially for you one foot after the other He's going to pull it up and he's going to pull it over himself, mask included, right? The whole thing's going to go over him. And then it's time for him to zip up that Prince Charming suit. And now he is a perfect one-to-one -one replica of exactly what you've been searching for all your life. The Prince Charming you've watched in your Disney princess movies. Oh my God. He's now standing in front of you. He literally has your name on the bottom of his foot, just like Woody from Toy Story. That silent treatment's gonna come hard and fast. It can't come hard or fast unless he makes you feel like this is everything you've been searching for. Number three, him leaving you deaf and blind. Now, I want you all paying attention here so that you can be confused because he gets to use this silent treatment on you to extract from you whatever he wants. So let's analyze some of the possibilities of things he could be trying to accomplish when he's giving you the silent treatment, at, aka he's leaving you deaf and blind because now you're really confused. You want to know what happens to you after you start spiraling? You turn into the worst thing you can possibly turn into. You become a pick Misha. Your mind is exclusively focused on what must I change and adjust about myself so that he likes me once again and treats me 
how he used to treat me. You're going to be thinking about how can I give you exactly what you want right now as quickly as possible so that you can return to a place of peace and happiness and start giving me the same amount of validation that you were once giving me. One of the key things he's trying to get you to feel by giving you the silent treatment is he wants you to feel like you did something wrong. Even if you didn't, you can't accuse them of being narcissistic, you can't accuse them of being a bad person because all they did was give you the space to think whatever you wanted to think. But it's strategic because he didn't just not give you anything from the start. He strategically gave you something specific that he knew you were looking for at the very beginning, which is why I gave you the whole setup at the beginning. So you can understand that it only properly works. When you feel like you've been uniquely served, the person who was etched in stone for you, remember, like Toy Story, the belief of that is what makes him pulling back from you so powerful and gaslights you into believing, being sure, being positive 110% that you must have done something wrong in order to trigger this response out of him. And it makes it one step closer to him getting from you what he wants from you without having to do anything for you in return because he is actively trying to avoid doing something for you while simultaneously getting whatever it is he wants from you. So if that's that he feels like you're not ready to sleep with him, you got too many boundaries, you'll start to overthink in your mind and think to yourself, Maybe I shouldn't have waited a whole month before sleeping with him. Maybe it was the wrong choice to set so many boundaries when it came to intimacy. Maybe I should have went over to his place and drank wine with him until late at night and slept over that time when he asked me to sleep over because maybe that's why he's giving me the silent treatment now. The moment you start thinking during the silent treatment that, oh, Maybe he's giving me the silent treatment because he's disinterested in me now because of something I did. He's one. Now, number four, this is where I want to discuss the ticking time bomb because a smart man who understands how to properly withdraw and understands that why he's doing this withdrawal to get something out of you, whether it be emotionally or physically, he understands that just allowing this to sit is going to increase your anxiety day by day by day, you have become a ticking time bomb of emotion because when your emotion spills over and becomes overwhelming to you, you're way more likely to do things outside of your regular everyday character while he simultaneously does nothing and also doesn't have to be made to look like a bad person by forcing you to do something. But this time, when you give it to him, you feel like you did that because that's what you wanted. And a lot of times for most guys, what they'll do to avoid being in pain themselves is they'll go and enter entertain other girls while they give you the silent treatment. And they'll also attempt to do things to trigger you while he's giving you the silent treatment. So you'll be that much more in pain and hopefully you'll have what's going to come next, which we'll discuss in a second, right? This ticking time bomb is going to go on for as long as it needs to to break you. I know I make this sound horrible like a super villain plot, but this is the honest truth. So that you come back on hand and knee saying, I once was in the belief that I should be doing this and this is what I should stand on. I am now emotionally broken and I no longer want to stand on those things. I am willing to negotiate with you and do what you want me to do, how you want me to do it, just so I can hopefully get back to the place where we once were, where you represented to me my Prince Charming. This is where the explosion of emotion happens. Now that you've reached your pain threshold, you begin giving him everything that he has ever wanted, even things that he didn't even ask for. You go out of your way to give those things to him simply because you're so terrified of ever experiencing that amount of pain or anxiety again in relation to the guy that you thought was your Prince Charming. Because when he does it that way and you come to him saying, yeah, you know what? I was going to do a thing where I didn't sleep with you until I knew this relationship was serious. 
but I don't like you withdrawing from me and giving me the silent treatment. So now that we're talking again, I'll spread my legs wide open for you. You can jackrabbit yourself inside of me until you're satisfied. And hopefully that means that you won't give me the silent treatment anymore and you'll be ready to stay this time. I made a mistake by setting these boundaries or setting these expectations and standards that were way too high. I shouldn't have done that. Let me take my standards and expectations down a notch. Let me allow you to do whatever you want. When you're happy, then you'll no longer withdraw from me, pull away from me, or ever give me the silent treatment ever again. But here is the most crazy trick and the hor most horrible part. Now that he recognizes that you have a pain threshold that once reached, you will give in, you're cooked forever. Now that he has seen that that strategy works on you, he will never again try to do more for you than necessary. And anytime he wants you to change your mind on anything, all he will do is give you the silent treatment once again.